I didn't say chapter 4, verse 1. He did not do what? Waver at the promise of God through unbelief. There was a cause for him to waver. God has spoken to him. Abraham. God changed his name to Abraham, but still nothing was happening. Then on his way, he still held on to God. And with all those things, each was passing. The old man each was wearing away. The wife which he promised, God said, your wife will get a child. She's passed 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Which one of you? Which one of you? The each itself is fighting against the word of God. <laughs> God has said it, but each is telling you. You will get up in the morning and you feel pains in the knees and in the body without you haven't worked. And they are telling you, you are going to get pregnant. Even you can, even you yourself, without a child, when you get up in the morning, how is it? Then getting pregnant. What en with what energy? Oh, you don't get me. Do you even have enough strength to vomit? So age was fighting. Natural life was speaking to him. That Abraham, have you seen a 70 year old lady getting pregnant before? But God to have said, Abraham, you and Sarah will have a child. Eighty years. He said, hey. hmm. The gun, how do you say it? Agbene. A way. Eighty years. This old lady, you get up in the morning and look at her. If you don't take time, your faith will drop. What nature is speaking and God is speaking. The natural things are saying that Sarah cannot give birth. But the spirit of God is also saying through his word that Sarah can give birth. The Bible said, oh, look at what he did. He, no, no, no. Get 25. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was what? Strengthened in what? In faith. Giving what? Such a man, when you meet him, what does it look like? You go to his house. He say, oh, Abraham and Sarah. Hmm. The other day you said you were going to get a child. He said, Tete. If 
Et puis, on dit, oh, il y a un My wife is going to give birth. I am going to name my son. And they say, hey, when people grow, they bring. Ah, somebody is telling me that this. Uh, uh, the, the men, how do you call the men one? Anthroposal symptoms. Something is happening. Go and get some, but some doctor to hey, come and check. There's something wrong with his brain. But Abraham did not care a matter about what everybody cares. Even though it has never happened before, he knows God will rule supreme over every situation. You might not have seen that miracle in anybody's life before, but when God comes in, it becomes possible. The Bible said, verse 21, he continued, and being fully convinced that what he had promised he has also, he was also what? Able to perform it. See, God, our faith stands on this. That God is not like a man who can promise sometimes with all good intentions to perform it. But there are things we call circumstances beyond. When he was promising, the beyond was not seen. And the cause is beyond his control. He couldn't control those sins to bring that thing to pass. But God, every circumstance is within his control. So when he promised, nothing outside can change his promise. So Abraham, I love that. Being fully convinced, I want us to be fully convinced. Faith is not half convinced. Faith is fully conviction, conviction in our heart that I don't see anything I can, apart from what God can do. Yes, it doesn't mean that natural thing doesn't happen. Yes. I know. I know you need to go and farm and let the thing grow for some and then you harvest and it. But I also know that God can bring manna. I know processes must go on for people to make it. But I also know five loaves of bread could feed how many? 5,000. Naturally, five loaves of bread cannot feed 5,000. But through the power of faith, five loaves of bread. Jesus was convinced that he could feed them with the 5,000. He broke it. I said, let them sit down. 
They say, hey, what is this master doing? He doesn't know there's five loaves. He said, sit them down. He has faith that that five loaves of bread they will eat. I don't know where. He said, go and bring baskets. He said, hey. Baby, These pastors, when they pray and they pray and they fast and they read the Bible, they become crazy. That thing is happening to that guy. Oh. Five loaves of bread. Put them there. Pack them nicely. Sit them orderly. Hey. Jesus. Hmm. Ah, yeah, sure. Then some of the disciples might go and hide because shame is coming. <laughs> master, master, I, I dear master, I knew what's not the beba. He said, Peter, all of you come here, come, hold your basket. Go and bring basket. Go and bring basket. They went and brought basket. He took and broke. Put it in Peter's. Broke. Put it. Broke. Put it. And Peter's basket was full. Hey, Bartholomew, come. Broke. Broke. It was full. Judas, where you come for? Bra. He broke for Judas. Broke, 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 broke. For Judas to carry that. And people fed, were fed. And there were some remaining. Then Jesus worked a miracle. <laughs> All of them. The people ate. Until. What? There was left over. He acted in faith. He knew that the father has the ability to multiply. But he is the God of multiplication. God, one of God's nature is that he is a God of multiplication. The, the woman, Abraham, oh, let me finish with my father Abraham. He was strengthened in faith. He was fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. There are two aspects of it. One, you are convinced. Two, the ability of God. If you are not sure God can perform it, you can't be convinced. Can God do it? Yes. Are you convinced God can do it? Uh, I know he can do it, but I am not sure whether it will happen to me. Can God raise the dead? Yes. Jesus was convinced that when he shout and call Lazarus' name, Lazarus will come out. 
he knows that he was convinced that the father was also able to raise the dead. So when he shouted, Lazarus, come on, there was no little doubt in his heart or in his mind. He knew that Lazarus would come out. Not when you pray, oh God, I command this thing to move. And when you open your eyes and you show you say, ah, me myself, I knew that it won't go. <laughs> you were not surprised. <laughs> Jesus would have been surprised if Lazarus didn't get up. He would have been surprised if the bread didn't multiply. He knew it will definitely multiply. That's what I call faith. He is able with the ability of God. We have reduced God's ability and have exchanged the ability of God to science. We can believe science because oh, they are facts. Yes. Facts they work, but sometimes facts they fail. Yes, science produce fact. Faith produces truth. Truth can withstand everything. Facts can change. Sometimes the fact now that people look to, they might not have seen everything about that thing. So what they talk about is what they know. They don't know the unknown. But the truth never changes. Are oh, you getting me? I get it, man. So our faith should be strong today. And as we pray to God, in prayer we need faith. And Abraham, look at what Abraham did. Wow. Our father Abraham. And being fully convinced that he had promised, he had promised he was, what he has promised, he was also able to perform. God's ability to work miracle. God's ability to heal. God's ability to do what he wants to do. God can bypass every human plans and do his own thing. God's ability to take a shepherd boy from the wilderness, nobody knows. Even when he comes to his family, he does not stand a chance. To pick that shepherd boy. Lift that shepherd boy. And anoint him as a king. If it was left to human beings. David would have been the last person to think about. When you are thinking about kings. But nothing about him. Look like a leader. Nothing about him tells her about, looks about the human way of nature of having leadership. The only people he can leave, lead is animals. 
How can you equate men to animals? We are talking about dealing with men, stubborn men. You are talking about the man who is taking care of animals. Take my rulers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we cows? Are we sheep? But God picked human school will not be able to see that in that boy. But he was a man after the heart of God. He trusted God to deliver his ship. Their quality which will not be shown in school because they don't, the leadership school, they don't go to ship to go and listen. They look at uh, how people do companies and other things and they don't go to the animals. A ship, a shepherd boy. God knew that this man, he will not run away when Goliath comes. The same way he will not run away when lions comes against the ship. He is not the type of leader who is only looking for salary. He is someone whose heart won't get him to move on. He arrested an animal like a lion. If you see a lion coming to your ship, what will you do? You will run away and leave the lion, uh, the, the ship. Because your life must be saved. You don't put your life down for a ship. A ship must put its life down. <laughs> for the shepherd. But this is a kind of shepherd who was ready to lay down his life for the ship. This kind of leadership is not taught anywhere. He said, if any animal catches my, takes my, my, my ship, I go there, I strike it, and open the mouth, and remove the animal. I don't run away. I chase it, kill it. It will never go into the stomach of that lion or anything. I will remove it. Don't attempt to eat my animal because it can't go into your stomach. I don't know how he did it. The strongest animals in the, in, in the wilderness, the lion and the bear. And these are the strongest animals he, he was able to chase. When you have faith, you don't care about whatever you have. You care about the God you have. You don't care about the capital you have. You care about the God that can multiply you. The man, he removed it. He didn't do it to make show off. Because nobody even saw it. He never even told his parents. That this is how. But what they knew about it is that if any time Peter, uh, uh, I say Peter, David goes out with the ship, he comes back with them. Others go, lion catches them, they come, hey, daddy. So a lion came and he's just tall, most of them. And he said, where is it? I left them there. 
Never has he reported to his parent, family that this thing has happened. He will face the lion by himself. After killing the lion, God was watching him. He was being trained in the wilderness. So when he saw Goliath, he has built his faith. His faith in God. That if God is able to help me with crude instrument to kill the lion and the bear, with this same crude instrument, I can use it to kill this uncircumcised Philistines. Going back, Jesus asked him, the mother, father of the child, he said, if only you can believe all things are possible. If you're in any situation and condition, the condition is if only you can believe. If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Faith takes you to a realm called the realm of possibility. There are some realm. It's called the realm of possibility. There are some realm in life that can make you buy anything. Imagine of millions of dollars in your account. When you are traveling, you are not afraid. You know you can buy anything. You can sit in a class. It's possible. Or it's possible to sit first class. It's possible to even charter a plane. Ocean now more how you want to get to the, the time you want to get there, you charter one. But it can only be possible if you are in the realm where you have that money <laughs> to do it. So the currency of possibility is faith. All the people that receive, most of them, faith. Victory, faith. Imagine somebody trying to fight a battle, a war, and the enemies are over 100 and something thousand. He had only 30 something. So he was afraid he cannot match his enemy. Then God said, Reduce the 30,000. I say, Akwe or that I make a kumiana. He reduced it. God said, Even this number two is too big. He reduced it until there were what? 300 and what? Is this? In the hundreds, in the hundred, he brought this number, reduce it into the hundred. If you're going to use five thousand to go and buy, you want to buy a car and you have twenty thousand Ghana cities into into car, and you are struggling. Then God said, go and dash. Go and dash 10,000. Then you go and give the 10,000 to somebody. He said, okay, give another 9,000 
from that person that, that is left with what? Take it away. They say, Fen yam nine got three hundred Ghana cities. Nafakotokan. Do you know why you tell God? Satan get behind me. Satan. Is it Satan or God speaking? God said, I am the one. He said, God, which garage can I find 300 Ghana CDs car? Even bicycle. A tie of a bicycle. This money can't buy. What they just walk there? He walks there. And you know, when you're holding that money, you're going to buy. Oh, go to say who's place? Baby a BM brand new B baby a BM garage or <laughs> he wouldn't tell you to go for Tigo. <laughs> or, or what's the name of that, that one? The, 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 huh? Bit. Vit. Twitter Vit. Vit. Twitter Vit. Kia. Kia. Something. Dao matches. I did that matches. Even that one, you don't have the boldness to take the 300 Ghana cities. But God said, go with that. And he didn't tell you to go to where they sell Dawu Matis. But where they produce brand new Mercedes or BM or what's the new way? There are some, they are very expensive for Ben, eh? Bentley. Go to the Bentley. Go and take the top one. And you meet a friend. Where are you going? I said, I'm going to buy Bentley. Say, where? <laughs> he looked at you. I, I, are you sure you're correct? You're right? He said, I'm going, I'm going to Bentley. Go, oh, friend, just take me there. I'm going there. I'm going to buy Bentley. He said, Kwaku. How much are you going to say, oh, I'm holding 300 Ghana cities? I said, oh, no, 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 no. He said, you don't know the cost. The price can buy a house. Then he goes and knocks. They open. And you see, all your, you see, when you're talking, you become a stammerer at that time. Good afternoon. And they said, Oh, are you this person? Somebody came and bought some car and he said, You'll come for it. Yeah, he will send you to, uh, to come for it. Send me. Yeah, I am not the one. So what's the name? Oh, he showed me. Oh, that's your ID. This is the name he gave to me. He, he, even he registered it in the same name. I said, huh? Registration is a cracker home. Some of you will collapse. Fighting with Little and with God, with little in your hand is more than what any man can give to you. So, our faith is very important. Faith is the hand that receives from God. God is ready to give but the hands you receive haven't been stretched. 
The giver has promised and is holding it and stretching it towards us. But the hands of faith is in your pocket. As I said, our father Abraham, the verse 21, look at what he did. He started giving glory to God and being fully convinced that what, that what he had promised, he, he was also able to perform it. Yes, verse 22, it says that, and therefore it was accounted to him for righteousness. When you read the 17 and the 18 and the 19, they're very, uh, listen, the 17 and the 18 and the 19 before the 20. And he said, it is written, I have made you, you see, the basis of a faith is what God has said. You don't just stand and say, I am going to a Bentley shop to go and take this in. What has God said? God is, can only perform what he has promised. I hope you're getting me. It's not you go and bring something by faith. By faith. Has God promised you that man? Has God promised you that woman? Has God promised you somebody came? I remember the first time I took the body car for me. I went, I think, Takra, uh, a program. When we close, somebody came. He saw that car. It was a Toyota Prado. I did mission every day. My team every day. Pa, first brand new tear rubber. He said, "I'm late." God said, "I should. You should leave your car for me." I said, "My car." He said, "Yes." Is that the one I came with? I said, yes. I said, so that how am I going to go? To? He said, I said, I'll go and drop you. <laughs> so I asked, the giver and the receiver, the one who has the thing, and the one who is coming for it? Which one should God speak to? <laughs> Me who is holding the thing. Me who the thing belongs to. Me and you. Who should God speak to? I also need faith to give. So don't let people just say, oh, uh, uh, God is leading me uh, to come. And, yes, God, if God is leading you to go for somebody, to, from something from somebody, pray that God will speak to that person. Yeah. Don't use God to tie people's hands. Don't use God, the name of God, to rob people. That is why when there's any giving, if you are not led, put your money into your pocket. But if I let, and the Spirit of God kicks you, give. Because you're giving in faith. He said, Prophet, hey. He said, Did you give the car? I told her, This car is not even my car, 
is a church that bought it. How can I take church property, which is not mine, to be given to you? God himself doesn't work like that. Peter said, silver and gold have a nine. Me too, I don't have the staff of God. It's for the church. <laughs> Such as I have that I give right to you. But I don't have it. How can I give it to you? So it couldn't be God. This is called patapa. Our faith can override whatever that is natural. God asked somebody to go, uh, Philip to go and witness. God wanted him to go and witness. And he saw the two fear in going, so he jumped into the sun, and the man was reading. Then they got to a place. The man has a car. He fell up. He doesn't have a car. They got to a place and he has to baptize. And he baptized the man. After he finished baptizing the man, he said, okay, thank you. God bless you. What happened to Philip? Philip was translated. A spiritual plane came and picked him. And he went on the place working. It is by faith the natural thing says that when I am here I must move naturally to the UK. But faith can break the natural law. I told you, I remember, there was some time I had a program in the UK. We went for a camp meeting. And I was one of the preachers. And we're having a program. You were, I was praying, I was at the meeting. Then the spirit of God came upon me strongly. That I should go and pray. And the guy have locked my door. So I took my Bible. Before the more buried real, I have vanished and I was at the, at the door. Then I remember that the door had been locked. I said, God, how can I enter? He said, I said, go and pray. And I had strong faith in my heart that if I speak to the door, it will open. I said, door, open. And the door opened. I went and knelt and I was praying. Till the door locked again. The guy looked for me. Searched everywhere. He couldn't find me. He decided to come to the room to come and check what it when he came to the room it was locked because he was holding the key. He opened it and when he saw me. It doesn't mean that I can enter your house without the key. It happens only once. Uh, maybe to, that is my lifetime I'm at, I've experienced. But this is the activation of the Holy Spirit through faith. What I'm saying that whatever we do must be backed by God. Once God speaks and says go there, whether the door is locked or not, the door will open for you. Yeah. 
I've never tried that before. And I don't think I'm so stupid to try it. I obeyed it because God spoke. But if God have not spoken, don't say God have said it. And try to do. Do you know that it is only Peter who jumped on the water and walked on water? You know, there were others in the... Uh, why didn't they jump? When they saw Peter walking, why didn't they also join him? Of course, it was all to them. He walked on water. The rest were in the boat. Because Peter heard him. He had a conversation with God, with Jesus. Jesus said, come, Peter. And Peter started walking. If you like, go to the Atlantic Ocean now. Go and sit in a boat and jump into the water and say, Jesus say, walk on water. You will see how you drink salt water. So when I'm talking about faith, the essence of prayer, we pray so much that our spirit becomes very sensitive. That when God speaks, anytime we are praying and there is a word in your heart, don't play with those words. Take those words like Abraham. Don't look at the circumstances around you. Know for sure, if God has said it, he will also surely do it. He has the ability to perform what he has promised. Has God said it? Will he not do it? Our problem is that we don't allow God to speak. Sometimes when God speaks, faith is created. But somewhere along the line, there are battles that are coming. You know, sometimes you believe that this one there, it will work. But as time goes on, the storm starts coming, left and right. Maybe you believe God for some healing. And you know you'll be healed. Then as you go on the next week, following week, you say, hey, somebody died of that disease. Then you see your faith reduced for him. Then they said, another person have died. On the, another person. And you know, strangely, the devil will make you hear as if the only disease in the world is the disease you have. Because suddenly you, you, hear, you hear of those things coming left and right. You need to build your faith that in spite of what is happening, God has spoken. There were 12 in the boat. In spite of the 12 in the boat, Peter was the only one who walked. So if God has said it, he can also perform it. He has the ability to perform it. And when you have it, that is what I call the battle of faith. Something is telling you. At the end of year. But you know it will be okay. Something is telling you. The way you are growing old, you will never get a husband in life. Then, you also say, look, you see, if you make the husband your object, your, your 
your priority in life that either I get, if I don't get a, a, a husband or a wife, I can't exist in this world. Then you are replacing that person with God. It has become your God. You get it? To some of us, that burning desire tend to be a burning desire for us and it become our God. That the life you are living, someone says, let me tell you the truth. See, the day I will get a good job. Hey, when I get this job, then all my problem solved. Brother, sister, is the beginning of problems. You get the job. The salary is good. Then, the family problem, plenty. As if something had been opened. They pay you. Now, everybody knows you are working. First, you were not working. So, nobody, you didn't have work. So, nobody was mine. Everybody will come and line up. I want to become an MP. Yeah, become an MP. Early in the morning, They've lined up in front of your house, especially in Africa, in Ghana here. Line up some in the house, some in the office. Who betrays you to tell you them, I don't have time today. That's your end. <laughs> they won't give you sleep. If somebody is sick, they carry as if you are at the hospital. When somebody dies, you are part of mortuary. Mortuary might bring money. Listen, MP. What betrays if you don't attend a funeral? You lose. What betrays you when they are having some church, uh, how do you call it? Harvest. They invite you and you don't go. An election time can you want to come and talk to them? You will see. <laughs> if you don't know me, I'm in Adenta here. I know Adenta here. Oh, yeah, Rofa. Pop. 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 They said, Oh, yeah, Boko. Oh, yeah, Kukuku. One touch. You feel her? Adenta, one touch. How many are around this area? Am I lying? So when you come, learn, I say, Udafum. I yes, I want to touch. I then tap people, no, even if I go, my mom want to touch. Meaning. <laughs> my church members. After one year, you will vote me out. So for the team, man, ding. He doesn't give money. I know you suck me. So me too, I won't even go. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> 
So we're going to pray. Some of us have gone through something for a very long time. You've struggled. Sometimes you want to see. Sometimes you think, what sin have I committed? You've confessed your grandfather's sin, your father's sin, your auntie's sins, all your cousin's sins. You yourself, you confess your sin. Still, we are fighting a good fight of faith today. It doesn't matter what kind of problem you are carrying. Jesus is saying, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So we're going to pray. Are you ready to pray? We pray. This is not a prayer of fear. It's a prayer of faith. Some of us have sickness, some diseases. Some of them, they are from your childhood. What struggles are? Ah, the thing is that sometimes some people, they have it easy. They seem to have it easy, isn't it? Some people, some of us, sometimes you seem to struggle. And you want to understand why you are struggling. Others are not struggling. Everybody is struggling. So now those who are, some people, they are struggling. You don't see it. There are many here who are smiling, but they are crying inside. See them very happy outside, but sad inside. They are dying slowly. Today, may you be revived. There are some of us here who want to pray today. Now, Jesus is standing by you to bring help to you. I want Jesus to answer you. You pray to get your own answer. Then you can have more faith in God. Are you ready? So we're going to stand. If you have no prayer to pray, pray for me. Pray. Some of us, your faith is wobbling. Your faith is struggling. Our father Abraham was convinced totally convinced that what God has promised he's also able to perform it. Our faith in God is based on his ability to do what he said he can do. Have a steadfast faith. Stand in your faith. Continue in your faith. Continue to pray for God will touch you. No matter how little your faith is, pray that that little faith will grow to become great. There's some faith that are weak. Pray that they will be strong. Your God is a God. Pray for strong faith that no matter what you see, no matter how you feel, your faith will be strong. Like Abraham. Strong that it will grow to become a great faith. That Jesus will marvel and say how great your faith is. Pray that your faith will be full complete. Pray. Pray.
pray that your faith will not shipwreck. Will not be shipwrecked. That nothing can break it apart. Pray that this your most holy faith will be preserved. Pray that your faith will be perfect. Pray that your faith, you have the overcoming faith that whatever you meet, you will overcome. What we use to overcome this world is our faith. Our overcoming faith. The enemy have attacked us left and right. Pray. Let your faith replace your fear because fear has torment. Fear can even cause sickness and death. Because men had failed them for fear. Let your heart not fail and hold fast. Let your faith rise up. Let not horror and fear overwhelm you. The overcoming faith. The overcoming faith. Pray. As thou hast believed, so shall it be done. If you have faith, this great thing shall happen to you. Just if your faith and patience, you can inherit whatever God has promised you. If only you can believe, then all things shall be possible. That's what God said. Your faith can save you and your faith can help you. So hold on and pray. Because the greater is he that is in you because you believed than the one that is in the world. And greater work shall you do if you will believe in him. You will see greater things happening to your life Today is a new life. I pray, Father, today that the faith of many shall not fail. They will not faint. That our faith will be strengthened as we believe. That we will do greater works. That our way shall be healed. We pray, O oh God, that many of us with patience will inherit all that your promises, no matter how long they have tarried. They may tarry, but it will surely come to pass. O oh Lord, we stand yet to remember your presence. And you speak when everybody is afraid. Your faith stands. We trust in you 
Because we know that we will have what we ask. Our heart shall not be troubled because you know you are on our side. We seek you in faith and so shall we. O oh Lord, nothing can overcome us. Nothing can destroy us. By faith, we shall inherit the promise. By faith, we shall inherit the promise. By faith, we are going to inherit all the things that you've promised us. By faith, your people shall inherit the very promise you give to them. Oh Lord, we pray today that by faith, many shall not see death in their businesses. Like how Enoch was translated, what kills everybody's business will not kill their businesses. Because Enoch did not die because he believed. So by faith shall they be released. By faith, O oh God, your people shall enter into their rest. By faith, O oh God, you give them strength. The barren will be able to become a mother and a father of many. Oh Lord, even though their body, their businesses might be as good as nothing, something great and mighty shall come out of it. Oh Lord, by faith, oh God, we inherit the promise. Oh my God, I pray that by faith, you will speak in our life. By faith, you will choose the right thing in our life. You will help us choose the right things in the name of Jesus. Lord, we choose to move with you. We choose to walk with you. We choose to be with you. Oh Lord, by faith, we shall pass through the Red Sea as on dry ground. Lord, even as our enemy decide to do the same to dis destroy us, you will deliver and destroy them. Oh Lord, I pray, by faith, those who are sick shall be healed. By faith, anyone who is sick, be healed. By faith, if there's anyone who is sick here, be healed. Father, through faith, through faith, let them conquer kingdoms. Let them take the businesses. Let them be exalted and conquer every enemy. Expand their territory by the faith which we have. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, let them administer justice. Anything fighting against their life, every injustice in their health, every injustice in their marriages every injustice in their finances by faith by faith by faith we receive marosta kabaya irio makatu in maruka sabraduskia marasta praduski brainda by faith every wall shall fall the wall of the jericho shall fall before them the wall of the jericho shall fall before them by faith what stood before them shall crumble before them in the name of jesus oh lord by faith they will conquer kingdoms by faith they will administer justice by faith Yes, they shall gain what was promised to them. Whatever you have said to them, Lord, today, by faith they shall see it manifest. 
physically in their life they shall touch it they shall feel it they shall see it in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh lord by faith you will shut the mouth of the lions those who are seeking to destroy this ones by faith every lion mouth shall be shut by faith every bear that takes and takes our animals shall be destroyed by faith anything that comes against our life our nation shall be destroyed by faith oh god this country will stand will not depend will not be controlled by outside forces the outside forces shall not use money to control this nation may money be prophesied into the hands of the people by faith right leaders shall be chosen by faith right people shall occupy right places by faith god will bless this nation god will bless you god will bless your family god will bless your country god will bless your business god will bless your children by faith you shall be fruitful by faith every weapon that is passing against you for your destruction by faith it shall be destroyed it shall have no effect in your life by faith ways that are spoken against you by faith we destroy those ways if they are evil they will have no place to land in your life if they are good may they be fruitful in your life in the name of jesus by faith the barren women will begin to give birth by faith women without husbands will find their husband like adam and eve will find their wife like isaac the servant of abraham seeking a wife who found isaac his wife may they find your wife by the well side by faith may you not be left alone may god provide you your husband even if the other one have left or is dead may he treat you like roof that yes may he keep your husband the millionaire and may he protect that man and no vulture no animal shall devour that husband shall devour that wife may you walk and may you find favor may his eyes be upon you may he see you may she see you wherever you are may your children be of great blessing may the well not affect your children may the well not affect your children may your children rule the moral of the world may they be the one the world will look to may the lord bless them may your children become blessed may your children children become blessed anyone that come in contact with your children may they be like a salt and may they salt in their area may they release their salt into the world rameta those who are sick may they be healing about your life those that they have declared that you have a deadly disease may god bring resurrection may the resurrection power the very power that raised jesus from the grave 
the very spirit that brought Jesus from the grave. May that same spirit touch your body. May that same spirit touch your body and destroy every work that brings death. May miracles, may the death hear, may the dump speak, may the cripple walk, may the blind see, may the dead rise. May you hold the scorpions and snakes and may they not harm you. May any poisonous thing that is thrown against your life not succeed. May your life not be taken away by man. May guns, bullets not be able to come close to your dwelling place. When evil is coming, may the Lord hide you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord keep you. La barosta paradusta, brosta beresta porukata, enda galuka marita. They that sit and plan against your life, may the Lord sit in heaven and laugh at them. May you hide under the armpit of God. May the Lord keep you under his wings. May he protect you from storms of this world. From evil of this world. From destruction of this world. According to his word. Kamatuka. Mreka Sabrasya. The lame shall walk. The cripple shall run. The blind shall see. The sick shall be healed. Jesus, at the mention of your name, let every knee bow. Let every knee bow. Let every knee bow. We cause every knee to bow. Those that stand against you, may they bow. Bow. Those that fight against our churches and our businesses, may they bow. Those that stand against our nation and the prosperity of this country, may they bow. We cause the Lord set up your angel and release them by faith to fight on behalf of the weak. Above all, let salvation be released upon this continent, upon this country. Lord, convict men and women. Reveal yourself to them that you are the Savior, the Savior of the world, the Savior of the continent, the Savior of the country, and the Savior of our families. Oh Lord, you don't need thousands to deliver. When you decide to bring deliverance, nothing can withstand you. Blinding, cause blindness to come upon the army of Syria that chases us. Maru Imatuka in Tabayuka Irabaruka when they stand and plan to come and arrest and destroy us may you cause spiritual blindness upon them and they will be not be able to succeed I pray for businesses in this place it may be little but out of this little people, may you bring billionaires, 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 kingdom financiers, kingdom financiers, kingdom financiers. I release them in the spiritual realm.
Lord. Cabra dos Kipa. Le mereu ha prosim handu kuata. La mereu capra dos Kipa dos Kia. La brasta pra dos Kibia. Le kro mahanda ha tu mihindu anda. Rios ta paruka. Taru mahanda. Pra dos Kibreta kruanda anda. Lord. With little, like Gideon, with little that is not known in the world, like Gideon, may the businessmen here stand tall, stand tall, not only to the level of Ghanaian, but the world system. Oh Lord, our strength is in you. Our strength comes from you. We believe in our hearts that you can do it, that you will do it, that you have done it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, release Melanesia, release Melanesia, release great men from this place. Release kings from this place. Release them. Oh Lord, the entire world. Church, people of God, do you know what shall happen? The entire world is groaning. Is groaning. Things are not going on well. And their groaning is to wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. The reason why it's groaning is because the sons of God are hidden. The reason why the world is going through all this is because God's sons are hidden. But when they manifest for the endless expectation of the creation, eagerly wait for the revealing of what? The sons of God. The expectation, deliverance, healing, peace of this world depend upon the revealing of of the sons of God oh my God we are the hope but we are hiding the other day was it here when I spoke about fallen sons of God when the sons of God came to this earth, they saw that the daughters of this earth were beautiful. And they took unto them wives. God became angry. But what came out of even the fallen sons of God mixed with even the earth, earthly sons was renowned men. If fallen can bring renowned men, <laughs> there were mighty men who were of old men of renown. These are fallen offsprings. What about pure offering brought with the blood of Jesus? They, you see, anything that is that comes from God is mighty. Our sons, our children, what comes out of us should be the mighty men of this world. Don't let us leave it to the unbelievers. Great scientists, discoverers will come out of us. Don't leave educational wealth 
to the unbelievers. In fact, the purpose of the church is to educate. God said, I know Abraham. And one of the reasons why I can entrust things to him because he would teach, he will educate his children. For I know him in order that he may command the children, command his children and his household after him that they may keep the way of the Lord to do the righteous, righteousness and justice that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to him. This if something must happen. We have left it in the hands of unbelievers to control all of us, to dictate to all of us what we must do, to tell us what is right and what is wrong. We've left the business well to the thieves, to the evil men. Let the righteous men enter there. My prayer and from this time will be praying. I get angry. Ah! I said we don't have God. We have one. God must show himself with signs and wonders. If falling angels, fallen sons of God, mighty men and renowned men is it the upright sons of God what should their seed be the things have changed that the sons of the servants are riding on horses And the princes are walking. And the servants are laughing at the princess. It's an error. And every error must be corrected. We will continue next week. Adia, the thing that is boiling inside me. But what I see, I see great men and women before Jesus return he will shake the earth this well will shake I'm not talking about 2019 2020 this little virus called COVID-19 imprison the whole world. If this virus can imprison the whole world, then the Holy Spirit can release the whole world. Something must happen that if you don't join, you'll fall out. You have no option but to join. We cannot but to join. Say, prophet, then about so. Nyamahum, Abamiso. We are coming next two weeks. Some of you don't know who you are. Do you know who you are? I want you to ask three things. Three major things in your life before we leave this place. The death, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. There's a reason for that. Ask three things. Thank you, Father, according to your word. Let there be fulfillment 
of this. Lord, every request that is brought before you, let it be answered. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Bless you. Be seated. Did some people take some envelopes some time ago? If you took some envelope, you didn't come and put it down before I pray. Solution Center next week, Thursday, that is 28th March 2024, due to the spiritual emphasis program. Solution Center resumes on what? What? What again? What April? Great. So, 4th April, this is a foundation we have laid. Even if your faith is shaking, if your faith is shaking today, your faith have gathered a little, isn't it? Look, don't look at what is happening now. Look at what 
has happened and will reveal, be revealed. Upon some can do all his ways, but you will surely get your answers. Amen. So we come. Well, I sense something great, something mighty will happen to some people. There is something to be born within you. Something the enemy have kept. So we take our offering. Are you ready with your offering? Our gracious, your offering is something that comes out of you. It should be mighty, renowned, Our gracious Father, I thank you for your grace upon our life. That we have a God we can put our faith in. That we will not look at our bodies, our circumstances, like our father Abraham did. We will do the same as he did. But with faith, we will stretch off our faith hand. And what you promise us will come to pass. Whatever you promise anybody here, Lord, if it is your word, that person will never die until that person sees it happen or it happens in the person's life. Preserve that person like Abraham Amen. until it happens in Jesus' name. Amen. Cheers.
champion, which is Jesus. He kicked the devil up there, beat him well, came to this world, beat him, went to hell, beat him. He's called home away neutral ground all he won all so there is no debate about who is the champion amen your Jesus is champion amen so I want us to go home may the Lord keep us under his mighty wing amen oh how many of you are happy good that's how God want to and I like God to move like that. Amen. You see my shoe. This should have I should have jumped with this one. But today, rather I've got this one. My son, one of my sons bought it for me. In the US. Yeah. They've been troubling me with this with my wife. Mohammed. It's an old man, dear. Oh, you're not brandy too much. Amen. Amen. But they want me to look. Amen. She's in Ghana here, but she's also in UK, a US. See, the person they will be in the the person will be in the shop, and you know this uh, video. He said, "Ma, ene, he said, ene, ke 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 ke, ene, 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 ene." I'm not like her. she will look her and get the right one. Me. And I go to shop straight, ba, 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 shoot. Sometimes I will buy it before realizing that that's not my size. <laughs> Amen. Shall we share the grace? The grace. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go.